Hey friends, welcome back to Learn to Draw with Mrs. Bryson. It's been a little while. It's been crazy in the online teaching world. But last night we did a Zoom meeting with my third grade class and I told them I would come on and do the video for everyone in case you would like to try again, people in my class, or if you weren't with us, if you want to give it a try yourself. So um, at the school where I teach at East Pennsboro Elementary, there are some paintings up on the wall that I did a couple of years ago. So I shared those pictures with my friends. There's one of them. And here's the other one. You might notice that the leaves that are up in the trees are handprints. So all of the students that were at EPE the year that I painted these got to participate in the painting by adding their handprints up to the trees to be the leaves. So we are going to draw one of those panthers together today. We are going to draw the one that was sitting in the other picture, because that's the one that my students picked. So if you would like to follow along with us and learn to draw a panther, we would love to have you draw along with us. Make sure that you have a piece of paper and a pencil. Make sure you have an eraser so if you make any mistakes, you can fix them. Guess what? I'm not perfect all the time and probably ne neither is any of you. Um, when I did this with my class for the Zoom, we, I started off and realized that it was way too big, so I erased and started over. And you can absolutely do that as well. All right, so we are going to start off with our panther picture that we're gonna do together with its nose. And you can do a little upside down triangle in the middle of your paper and then color that in. Underneath the nose, you're gonna do a J shape. And then on the other side of the nose, you're gonna do another J shape. And then put a little curve on the end of each one. All right, around the nose, we're going to do his muzzle. So we're gonna do a curved line up at the top of the nose, which is then gonna come around underneath and then back up. So it's not quite a circle, not quite a triangle. I'm not really exactly sure what shape that is. Okay, so there's the muzzle for our baby panther. Okay, next we are gonna add on some eyes. We need a curved line for this first eye over here and then a curved line for the second eye over here. We need a curved line underneath, curved line underneath, and then little small curved lines here, the outside of the eye. Inside, we need the circular shape for its eye, but we don't see the whole circle because the top of the eyeball and the bottom of the eyeball would be underneath and above where the eye is. And then a cat's eye is more slitted. That's what panthers are, the wild cats. You can color the slits in black. Up above each eye, we're going to add an ear. In between the two ears, we're going to do a line with some zigzags to be the panther's hair. And then we're going to make a C shape around here and a backward C shape around here. But while you're doing that, you can stop every once in a while and add a zigzag to show that our panther's got some hair. Same thing over here. Zigzaggy C. It's very zigzaggy. For the inside of the ear, we're gonna do an L shape on that side and a backwards L shape on that other side. Lauren says he looks cute. I appreciate the compliment. All right, next thing we need to do is his belly, which is gonna come around down in here. Just like the sides of his face, when we draw his belly, we're gonna draw some zigzags. 
to show that his belly is hairy too. Okay, there's Panther's belly. We're gonna do just a little line right here. And we're gonna add in some legs. Okay, so we're gonna draw a line here, a line here and some feet, but again, we're gonna add in those zigzags to show that our panther's got some hair. Okay, so we're gonna draw our zigzag down around here. And we're gonna do the same thing on this side. He looks like a cat. He does look like a cat because panthers are really just big wild cats. Mm -hmm. So good, looks like a cat. Yeah. All right, we're going to draw a curved line around. It's going to be his back, which is going to curve down into his tail. You can add a couple lines for hair if you want. And then curve around, down into wow. his tail. I told you before that was a long tail. It is a long tail. And back around. Okay, and then the last thing we need to add is one of his back paws. That last one is going to be back underneath. We won't really be able to see it. Okay, so we're going to draw a curved line. Some zigzags coming around there. We're going to draw a curved line with some more zigzags coming around here. And then we're going to draw that last paw. All right, so there we got our baby panther. Thanks for joining me today, and I hope to see you back again another time for Learn to Draw with Mrs. Bryson. I might not be on quite as often anymore as I used to be, but we will be back, and we will draw more together again in the future. Bye.